aren't all of them have a mobility speed, physicality in the middle, uh, the quality in the middle with Ericsson, Bruno, Fernandez, and of course physicality with McTominay, Casimiro. You know, central defenders so aggressive, uh, good pace outside. So, yeah, it's a, Man United always have been like that. So here in North Trafford we were much better than Eddie had in these many years, last year. So, but in the same time, so as I said, I'm looking forward, and I think we are prepared to face them. Hi, Pat. Um, Kevin De Bruyne has said that for a lot of people in football, it's about uh, negativity and fear, but playing under you, it's about extreme positivity. Uh, what do you say to players before big games like this one? Nothing. This big game, few. There is a plan for the way they attack, for the way they defend. You have to adjust, and and that's all. And always, I believe is a this is a a big opportunity. Our job, football, to express our our. Or the skills the players they have in front of the thousand millions of people and we have to do it for them and the best way is they be yourself and try to what you are as a football player show every day as much as possible uh, don't be a scare uh, be up front and and try to you know play good and if you do it the consequences will be points points and victories and victories so I prefer to be active than reactive, and, and the teams always have been. I've been as a football player, and especially as a manager, always have been like this, and always will be like that. There's a lot of history between the clubs, uh, especially one incident uh, between uh, Arling's father, Alfie, and Roy Keane uh, back in 2003. Uh, is there anything different with these big matches that you can sense in the players? It's a long time ago, it an accident it happened, everyone from the win, there's no friends there, and try to, to beat them. So Sometimes, not necessarily to be a derby, to this, sometimes this kind of situation happen, can happen in the training session, sometimes. So Football is feelings, emotions, and sometimes it happens, but yeah, it's a long time ago. Is that the, is that the most important thing about derbies? Just the players remaining calm and keeping their keeping their heads. No, I don't know. We cannot be lazy in this type of games, neither. Uh, I would say that uh, what you need sometimes to be the expressed emotions and feelings, the game from itself, give it to you. So it's not necessary. Of course, we're going to talk how important it is. But uh, it, yeah, I think we're here is more. Decisions before you act, the decisions are being made for your brain is always much better. And be calm and take the right decisions. But to take the right decision, you have to be calm. If you are anxious, it's difficult to take the right ones. And in these important games, the external situation to give you the extra sometimes you need, you know, to play in different games. Can you, um, over the last couple of months, you've seen more enthusiastic about the atmosphere inside the Etihad. Are there any reasons you put that down to? I would say they are proud of uh, these guys. So they have given to them, for for all of us, the guy, the people who love Man City. So these players give many years, many good things, many good moments, many, of course, titles. But to get the titles, have to be good performance, and they they produce many of these. Since I think we are together, so that's why the people is. I think can go to the stadium with a, okay, put us pressure. Uh, it's important they, that we can feel the pressure of them, especially in the opener as well, and and demand the best of ourselves. We need it. So always I want tomorrow they are active. They are, they come to enjoy, to be passionate. The after tomorrow it's not just okay a football game and and demand us the best of ourselves. Otherwise against these opponents it's difficult to win. Last couple before the embargo goes. Um, last season in the Champions League knockouts, you brought Kyle and John back uh, from injuries. You said it was worth the risk to play them. Is the derby something where you could bring Ime straight in? Is that one of those games or is it too much? Uh, it's completely different. And the problem we had is that we didn't have another option in that moment. So uh, Kyle was injured in the first game against Madrid. John 
just 20 minutes and you had Fernandinho help us a lot to play as a fullback. So it's a different situation. So if I decide, to, we decide to play with Ames, not a problem, we do it. But now we don't have this urgency because we have alternative with, uh, with Ruben, with uh, Manu, with, uh, with Nathan. So, but it's important, he's back, it's really, really important. Do you feel a need to be kind of more aggressive in this first half of the season, given that you don't know how things are going to be after the World Cup? And our performance yeah. and the way we play? Yeah. yeah. No, no. We, we, and listen, we, of course, we talk six and six weeks. We have the World Cup. You have the World Cup, and one injury in that period will be difficult. We risk, you know. That's why you have to be focused in every. Do you do your life on and off the pitch? Um, but we, we don't plan absolutely anything differently. Uh, so with the next game, we try to do it because I don't know what's going to happen World Cup. Nobody knows it. We talk about the days off. We have the staff and players don't go to World Cup when we come back and the trainings we'll do. And after, it depends on group stage, quarter, quarterfinals, semifinals, final. Uh, the, the players will come back and after that we'll see how they feel here, legs, tired, not tired. And the first game we're going to play, Carabao Cup or Leeds away, we're going to 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 see the selection and step by step. It's, I don't think it's nobody knows it's going to happen after World Cup. Uh, hi, Pat. Um, there was a, a bit of talk earlier in the season about the size of Lisandro Martinez when he signed for United as a centre half in the Premier League. Um, he could be up against Erling Haaland on Sunday. How do you see that matchup going? And Will he have his hands full, do you think? But Erling is taller. That's for sure. But um, uh, I like when the people underestimate the football player just for the size. You know, he can tell them, I'm here, I'm a good player, I can play everywhere. So he's a fantastic player, incredible build up foot, good mentality, aggressive. And you see his behaviors. So, if United spend this money for him, it's because Eric, of course, know him from from my experience, and it's no doubt about about that. So, it's not the first time I think um, he played against strikers like are taller than him. In Holland, I'm pretty sure there are strikers, you know, the big ones, and he handle it. So, important is intelligent, be brave, and and do it. But of course, in the box. It's the crosses in that position, Erling is taller, yeah, that, that's right, so we'll see what happens. Set the embargo for 10.30 on